Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got a Sky Digital box. It works by, all, by the looks of things. I don't really know what happens with these things. I press buttons. I haven't got a remote for it, other than it lights up. Um, just bodged it together there on an Apple plug. It works, but I uh, don't know anything about it. The card is out, and I haven't got a dish, and I don't watch TV. So, taking all of that for what it is, let's try and get into it. It's got a torque screw here and I think inside there's a one terabyte hard drive it's a very small torque screw T8 by the looks of things let's get this out is that enough this just covers the side flap the side flap comes off and there's a oh, I lost the screw this isn't going to go back together I'm just going to scrap this out I think so how does this come out does it come out looks like it should Use brute force and ignorance. Okay, so to get it out, then pull this lever and then pull this towards you, and it lifts up and just slots out. That's quite quite good. It's on a little caddy. It's not like the older ones that were more complicated. But what's it got here? Where does it say one terabyte somewhere? There it is, one terabyte. So I don't think I can use this for anything other than as a hard drive. I don't think I can access the files on it. From what I understand, they're all locked down. But that's. Uh, that's, that's really all I wanted to get out of it, but for fun, I want to have a look at what kind of a processor is under here as well. So, well, it peels off, but it looks things. Okay, that's handy. So there's this trim trim piece around the back. There it is, just snaps off like that. And then we can get at some screws, excellent. So Phillips head screws. I don't even know if you have to take the hard drive out to do this bit of it. They're quite stiff, these screws. There's a little fan on here as well, which presumably cools the, the uh, processor that's in it. There's a bit of a backstory to this one. I found this in a skip. Someone had thrown it out, it looked like it's a landlord's clear out when somebody, students, I presume, were just uh, just abandoned the house. And so everything goes in the skip. Now, the way Sky seems to work, Sky will always own this. That's their that's the way the contract works. If you don't own it, Sky owns it. Sky owns you if you watch their TV programs, I guess. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say things like that. Um, there's some clips all around the side then. This looks like it snaps to... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. There we go, just reach in and pull it up. Okay, we're in. It's quite easy. Easier than the other ones. The more, more the older ones. Wow, look at this for a circuit board, hey? It's nice, eh? I've never seen anything like that. So anyway, Sky owns this thing and there's three heat sinks on it there. Sky owns this thing and you can't do anything with it. Uh, I put it up on eBay thinking somebody might be able to use it, you know, in some other capacity. I don't know what for really, uh, better than just scrapping it is my attitude to these things, but no, Sky took a disagreement with that and uh, challenged eBay about it. There's an aluminium heatsink. Bit of copper there, so there's presumably a chip or something under here. There's a little fan rubber mounted, rubber cased. Let's unplug that. And then, does this snap off or how does it come off? Yeah, so Sky took exception to that and uh, that was that. Oh, screw, there's a screw here. So I gotta take down strike on that. And it's weird how eBay, rather than have any kind of confrontation, if anybody reports anything on eBay, that's it, eBay just sides with the report. They don't even ask, you know, is this true? Have you, did you post something that you shouldn't have posted? There's a little tiny fan, that might come in handy. I'll put it in the come in handy box. It sinks. Yeah, so that was that, I took it down. Then I can't, that means I can't sell it on eBay, leastways. And so, as far as I'm concerned, it is, at that point, junk. So, a little bit of heat transfer, something there. Two little pieces, three little pieces, look. Four, well, four, really. One, two, three. And then this one. 
aluminium can be recycled, so I'm interested in, in that point of view. There's a little heat transfer thing just in the corner of that one there. Now, this has come out easily or am I going to break it? I don't really care, so if I break it, it's alright with me. Uh, these are screwed on at the back here. Get the pliers on them. And these nuts can be handy to have because they, you know, if you're doing stuff with projects, sometimes electrical things are this size for holding potentiometers and that kind of thing. Why is that not sliding off so easily? There it is. Looks like this one's attached to its washer. I presume this does internet and modem and all that, and I think it's wireless and, uh, you know, heats your house up with radio waves. Which, uh, you know, I don't mind because I've got a Wi-Fi box myself. Now, how do I get in here? It's not the correct way to do it, but when you don't care, there we go. There's a little tab here, you can see it this time. There we go. That's the board out, I don't know what that is there, that might be an aerial. Or something else, I don't know. Snazzy little things, eh? That wire from here clicks on. That's an aerial wire, I think. Goes all the way around back to you know, there, to there, to here. So that's the aerial on the side there. Whatever way that works. These things, I've never seen these before. These little fan things. I wonder are they some kind of transmitter as well? They're really neat. Really neat little boards. Like, they're completely, well, they're not unrepairable, but they're difficult to repair, I'd say. Let's just try and prise off this aluminium plate here. A pokey tool. Yeah. Oh, there's another plate underneath. So that's the copper diaphragm there between the heatsink and the processor. something to somebody. And these are all staked, not staked on, but twisted on. Just a shield, I think, in that case. Yeah, there was no heatsink on this one, so that's just some kind of a shield. And this one, I'm guessing, was a heatsink. So I don't know what's in here. That was the heatsink there. Rubber top, well, heat transfer top on it. Just some kind of a chip that must get hot. Broadcom. That means it's the Wi-Fi one, maybe? What's in here? Another something there. Little... They're not rubber, but they're some kind of heat transfer compound or something. Don't know. Right, this one's going in the scrap. I don't know that I can do anything with any of these parts. It just is what it is. But there you go. You have a look inside it. You might be happy. That's where the the, the um, hard drive clips on. The older ones had cables clipping on the hard drive, so I guess that's a design modification that's useful. Oh, well, let's see the board number there. Sky PCB 00227-00 Five core board. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. So that one, two, three, four, five? I don't know. Maybe. That's a Broadcom as well. Right. Questions or comments, leave them below. Somebody might find this useful. Thanks for watching. See you later.